Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here with another Vintage Match. Still in the Untap Open League, still rocking Blazing Infect, as you do, as I do. T1 Glistener Elf, I have to run Infect. Can't run Glistener Elf because, you know, mental misstep. But, instead, we get... Scoots down just a bit. We get good old Blazing Shoal. And if you don't know what this card does, <laughs> it's banned in Modern for a reason. Uh, so, you see, I have these little 1-1s. One there's a 1-1, one, one, there's a 1-1, one, one, there's a 1-1, one, one. and uh, I get to cast for free the ability to give them plus 10, plus 0, or plus 9, plus 0. Here's the plus 10, Progenitus, and let's see, where are you bud? Somewhere, there it is, Blasphemous Act, there's the plus 9. <laughs> Just a one of I can tutor up with Mystical Tutor. If you've seen the other videos in this series, you know how this is going to go. As for my opponent, once again, another very difficult matchup. I think this one actually might be the most difficult matchup I've had to go through so far in this league. It is a four containment priest, four Lavinia list. Now Lavinia says that whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Blazing Shoal. Ta-da! <laughs> so that's that's unfortunate. There is a, a little bit of a nombo, Lavinia and Thalia Garden of Thraben, because Thalia can make a free spell cost one, which negates Lavinia here. Um, however, it won't help in the case of Blazing Shoal because of the first ability, they can't cast non-creature spells with CMC greater than the number of lands that player controls. So that might help when it comes to Tinker or Show and Tell. That's not going to do anything when it comes to uh, uh, to Blazing Shoal. All right. So anyway, no, no, just to clarify, when I say Tinker or Show and Tell, Tinker is three mana, but the mocks that you would never mind. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I also have to deal with Containment Priest, which hurts Tinker and Show and Tell, so the backup plans get stopped by Priest. Uh, I have to deal with Sanctum Prelate, and if my opponent knows what number to name with Prelate, then uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, the answer is 12. No, no, seriously, Blazing Shoal is 2 plus 10, so that's 12. Okay, <laughs> so this is going to be obnoxious. And the Phyrexian Revoker. Which can't name lands though, so it can't name Ink Moth Nexus, but dear god. Uh, and the Swords to Plowshares. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I am going to. And Medley Mage is really OP in this format because we have access to each other's deck list. Mmm! And I don't have removal in my deck. If Medley Mage comes down, like, what am I even supposed to do? Okay, so my opponent, I told my opponent I would be a little bit recording that intro. So, uh, here, I, here we go. Let's see. Draw our hand. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Let's see, one land, Gitaxian Probe. I don't see black mana for either of the tutors, and I don't see a creature. I see Blazing Shoal, but I don't see... So this is a really risky keep. Also, it's letting my opponent go first. Um, upsides. I have Force of Will and Spell Pierce. I have Probe to find a, to dig another card deeper, and I am on the draw, so I'll get a couple chances. So I think this is better than going to six, actually. Uh, and so, I'll keep. I'll get a couple draw steps, plus potentially a Gitaxian Probe to get me out of this. So here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Now, of course, now that I've done that, watch me not draw any black mana. Alright. So... What is that? The jank? The jank. Oh, okay, okay, I see. I see what's going on here. Jank Hub has the jank. Nice. Um... Do you go out and get some coffee? Because I don't blame you. It's 20 ounce. It is 20 ounces, I believe. Thermos is <laughs> nothing but coffee. Just to make sure that I don't in the middle of it. By the way, what do you think of my... Uh, what do you think of the music that's playing, YouTube? Alright. So we're starting off with a land. Cool. Draw. 
preordain? Well, we'll start off with Getaxian Probe. Pay the two life. Let's see what you're working with. <coughs> Another thing is, if you look at my opponent's deck list, three Wasteland, and obviously a Strip Mine, so I'm incentivized. Oh, Mental Misstep. Oh, neat. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna let that slide. Okay, so cool. That's scary though. Preordain? How's that? We're looking okay with that one? <laughs> oh, um, I'm getting pinged over here. And it's not by my opponent. So, let me, uh, let me turn that off real quick so we don't get beep, 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 beep the whole time. That might get just a little bit annoying. I'll see a notification on my screen if I get... Oh, ye. Oh, okay, there we go. Hey. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, so, um... Let's see. Look at the top two cards, only me. No response. Okay, cool. Um, I see Black Mana and Ink Moth Nexus. Funny story behind that phone. And I'll get to it during my opponent's turn. I'll, I'll tell you when I'm not having to think. Okay. So... I don't necessarily dislike either of these. I actually want to keep both of them. But, Blazing Shoal might be missing something, still. Uh, so we're going to put... I'm going to keep... Hmm. That's, that's just tricky. I, I think I want to go... Oh man, oh man. Okay, I, I promise I'm not slow rolling. The decision here, if I want to Demonic Tutor or Vamp Tutor on my next turn, I will have to shuffle away the Ink Moth Nexus. Um, unless that's what I'm getting, in which case that card just read draw a card. Uh, but I would like to not have to do that because if I can keep this Ink Moth Nexus, Blazing Shoal, Ink Moth, Progenitus, that's the combo. So I think what I'm going to do is keep both of these and, uh, We'll have... Oh, no, wait, I'm about to draw... This isn't Serum Visions, Jay. This isn't Serum Visions. I've been playing too much Modern. Okay, never mind, we're good. So I will keep them in that order. And then... Keep both... Draw. Okay, cool. Okay. Story time. So, I used to work as a uh, customer service agent, a remote at home customer service agent, and the calls would come to my phone, and as such, I have a phone number. However, for whatever reason, that phone number right there is listed as a business in the area that no longer exists. So people will just randomly be, I guess, looking in the phone book or on Yelp or something, find that phone number, and, uh, Oh, they passed back to me. Cool. And give it a call. Oh, there we go. I did it in reverse order, but it works out, I guess. Okay. Now, I think what I'm supposed to do here. I think. The safer play might be um, hold up Vampiric Tutor rather than go for Demonic Tutor here. Like, clearly my opponent is waiting to leap on me. So I can go end of turn or upkeep. Um, I'll, I'll do it end of turn just to preserve more mana for next turn. Uh, vamp Tutor. And then kind of just go to town. Hopefully, anyway. This is going to be a really slow kill. Also, if I wait to do it then instead of now, I'll have more information as to whether I should go for the Blazing Kill or for... Uh, tinker or for what? Well, obviously not Tinker yet. Well, no, not obviously. I have an Ink Moth Nexus. I have an artifact. Uh, we're going to pass the turn. Right on over. And 
get some of our coffee, which there's so much in here, it is just about to spill out to the top of the lid. Hmm. No end of turn containment priest. All right, so we're fetching. That's a, uh, oh, we might have a kite sail freebooter coming in. Wait, that, yeah, that is an underground sea. Or a meddling mage, maybe. Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. Interesting. Um. Thinking. Okay. So, on my next turn, I'm about to get an Ink Moth Nexus and. And my opponent's done for their turn. They, they might have land mother runes, that's about it. Because Thalia. Uh, I'm about to get an Ink Moth Nexus. I won't be able to attack with it. So I can respond with... I can respond with Vamp Tutor. Go and get something, put it on top. Put Progenitus on top, let's say. I don't think I need to force here. I think if I play on next turn, I'll play the Ink Moth Nexus. On the turn after that, I'll activate it, still have one mana open, and I can use that one mana for something like Force. Uh, so I think this is fine. Um, I might want to alert response just to use my mana conservatively in case I have to Force something else this turn. See if they have a misstep. Yep, there's the mental misstep. Okay, so there we go. That's neat. Um, because I have the D tutor, I don't think I'm worried here. Uh, we're just going to let that go. All right, that's good. And we'll say no response. All right, let's move on to my turn, making my way downtown. Oh! Oh, <laughs> no worries. I, I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember V-Click. Oh, that's a wasteland. Oh, it happens. Wasteland can come in. I do take backsies. I may not be able to spell take backsies on the first try, but I can do that. Yeah, I do take backsies even in competitive REL, so I'm just that guy. It it feels right to me, but even if it didn't, I wouldn't want to win because my opponent just forgot something like that. Um, it's one thing if they make the wrong play, it's another thing if they just forget. So anyway... Yeah, uh, that seems pretty good, but they, they haven't wasted yet, so... Yeah, this is, this is unfortunate. Instead of detutoring, so I think there's an argument for detutoring here, because I may be off black mana, but my opponent knows what's going on. They know hit the Ink Moth Nexus. And in fact, Blazing Shoal is kind of cut off right now because I can't counter Ink Moth Nexus. So I'm going to draw three cards here. Yeah, I'm going to draw three cards. See if my opponent will let that fly. I do need to hurry though because Containment Priest is a card. Oof, okay, yeah. Ran you out of counter magic, finally. Also, how many forces in the list? Uh, three force of will. Is the fourth one in the sideboard? Um, yeah, there it is. It's not in alphabetical order. Okay, so we will draw our three. One, two, three. Hey! We got there. We got there. And then we'll pass the turn. See if there's an EOT waste here. 
Nope, there's not. <clears throat> I guess they're holding it up for when I go in with the Ink Moth and Blazing Shoal. That would make sense. Uh, I think it's a little too conservative, but I can see that. Palace Jailer? Oh, no, we're doing this now. Taken to? No caverns yet. Which is good. That's very good. Still in combat. See the little icon on the left. Oh, no, no, we're good. My opponent let me go. Okay, that's not as good as it looks. It is still pretty nice, though. So, I'm going to go... One... Two... Blighted Agent. See if my opponent wants to fight this. No, I can't double force. And see if we're good. What do you say? Okay, okay, cool. And we will pass the turn. So, unless Lavinia Double Force is going to show up, I think I'm okay. Uh, Lavinia, I'm, I'm worried about. I can just lose to Lavinia. EOT. Swords. My opponent doesn't know, and I don't think I have to fight this. Yeah, the opponent doesn't know, so we're just going to let that go. I'll gain a life. I'm not under too much of a clock. I think I can get by. Um, that's... You know, you, I would like to preserve my counter magic. Just, opponent, please, you have a Thalia. Use your wasteland. You know that if I cast another Blighted Agent... Like, uh, one thing they could have done there is wasteland hit the um, hit the underground sea at the end of main phase, and then end of turn so that my mana, if I float it, goes away. End of turn swords so I can't even force back. Okay, that's a cavern on humans. That's not good. There's Lavinia. No, it's meddling mage. Ooh, a, a naked meddling mage. I mean, you've got to know, so I, I have to force here. Alright. Uh, may I get the same courtesy? Should I even ask that? Ye okay. I gave it to my opponent. My opponent's giving it back to me. So. Alright. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, let me scroll back up to see what it named. Um, Blazing Shoal. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you didn't know the deck, there is almost no chance my opponent names... Well, maybe, they see in fact. Maybe they remember, like, old modern and remember... Oh, look, Blazing Shoal's a card. Maybe. Okay, we, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. Demonic Tutor. See if it resolves. It's, it's resolving. My opponent has one card in hand. It's resolving. Cool. All right. So the game plan is... The game plan... There we go. The game plan is... We show and tell. We ask our opponent what they brought to class. They say, not a 10-10 Hydra God. We draw a land. Uh, 
Okay, step one, we draw a land. Uh, but then we, we can do it from there. Because we can animate... No, 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 it's, it's actually not enough. Because we have to spend one to turn Ink Moth into a creature, and three plus one from Thalia. So we're, we are in deep trouble here. Hard cast Blasphemous Nath Tinker. No, I don't have enough for Tinker. I, I don't. I think we have to do show and tell. I, I, I said animate Ink Moth. I was getting my wires crossed. That's Tinker. All right, yet we draw a land, get Progenitus. That's what we have to do. This is some tech that I, I came up with after the deck was, uh, was built. And woo! Or show and tell. Why not Stormcrow? Why not Stormcrow? <laughs> I mean, my opponent has the deck list. Just, I'm just being janky. I'm being cheeky. Alright, Tundra's in play. Now my opponent can hard cast force. Through Thalia. Crow Storm is greater than Crow Storm. Storm Crow. You're only one billion percent right. Alright. Yay! Deck thinning. Yeah, this is a really tough match. This is a really tough match. Notion Thief. Ooh! We're doing main phase Notion Thief. Nice. That's a one of. I don't know what to think about that. Alright, opponent. What you got? That's correct. Better late than never. You got there. You got there. Alright, so we need two lands. That is not a land. I can't win from here, so I'm going to call it. Game two? Yeah, I, I cannot win from here. End me. No, no, we're going to, uh... I don't know how I can get out of this, but operating under the assumption that I can, we're gonna do it. Blighted Agent, pass turn. I, I, I don't think there is actually a way for me to win here, though. I think I am actually just dead. Uh, I'm about to go to two from everybody attacking. And Mother of Runes. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, no misstep. And even if I could misstep, I can't. Yeah, this this deck is really good. I, I think the dredge match is probably probably bad, but that's about it. Alright, five. Um yeah, why are we not? Oh, because we don't want to attack with the meddling mage in case I block and have some zero. But actually, I don't know, actually. Never mind. I, I don't know why. Alright. Yep, there's not a way I can get out of this. But, <laughs> we're going to untap, we're going to draw. Reveal. Reveal. Heh heh. Game two? <laughs> Alright, so we're going on. Not revealing the whole hand. Okay, so this is, technically speaking, dumb. <laughs> so, but we have to try to make it work. Echoing Truth actually does something Hercules Recall does not. It does Nothing. And let me check the, the list just to make sure. 
Black Lotus, Moxon. Okay, nope, nope, that's it. So, Hercules Recall as an easy out. Anything else in here? Well, if Hercules Recall is out, Energy Flux can't work. Graph Digger's Cage does nothing. More Hercules Recall, Leyline, Ravenous Trap, Damping Sphere. You can tell I did not prepare much for the humans matchup. Um, this deck actually lacks any spot removal, or just removal, period. Um, it, it has none, it doesn't think it wants any, it doesn't realize it now does, now that Lavinia is a card, and so had I anticipated the ubiquity of Lavinia, I would have done mine differently. But since I didn't, Echoing Truth, which to be fair is usually okay. Echoing Truth is usually all you need in a deck that can just kill you on the turn after the Echoing Truth. Um, so we're gonna say... Shuffle again, just why not? Draw our seven, see what we've got, see what we have. That is a one land ancestral recall, double blighted agent, ponder, blasphemous act hand. That is borderline immaculate. Given that I'm playing against a cavern deck, not having force of will isn't as big of a deal. Uh, but so, ancestral recall is, is odd. Um, I'm gonna run out Ponder first. Partially because, well, so I think there's a case for running Ponder second, but if I recall, I'm gonna be on the play. I'm gonna go to six cards in hand, five cards in hand, eight cards, and if I can't play anything else from there, I'll have to discard something. And while you might very well have to do that, that's not ideal. However, if I do that, I can hold up, uh, well, no, I can't, because I'd have to crack this. Never mind. so we're gonna go Ponder into, um, into, or we're gonna fetch into Ponder first. All right, so my opponent's kept, and I will start off with my land. Now here's the decision. I have a strip mine three wasteland deck that I'm up against. Do I get Island or Underground Sea? Well, I have a Vamp Tutor in hand, and that incentivizes me to get an Underground Sea. I'm also about to ponder, and that ponder could get me another land, um, which could go either way. That could be a, a case for keeping the island. Um, what are the odds my opponent just turn one wastelands me? I don't think they're all that great. I think my opponent probably wants to develop their board a bit first, but that would also be a reason for playing the ancestral instead. We're going to go island first. The Vamp Tutor is nice, but I think I can get there. Said, there it is. Good old island. And also playing the Ponder first lets me have something for a mental misstep for the Ancestral later. No response. Okay, cool. Look at the top three. Look at top cards. Okay, cool. All right. Hardest thing about this, resolving a ponder. Oh, so that's an echoing truth. I like all three of these cards. I'm definitely going to keep them. Um, I don't even necessarily disagree with the order. I think that the order is pretty good. I can do an emerald, I can play an emerald next, but I think it's more important for me to do the force. Oh my goodness. Okay. Put that on top of the deck. Okay, I don't think my opponent sees that card. Sees that I just did that. It does mean that I don't have mana coming up. Except for the Emerald. Okay. Oh, Canadian Cannibal. Okay. Alright, so ponder out. And now... We pass the turn. Now I have Blasphemous Act, so I just need Blazing Shoal. That's all I need. Blasphemous Act will get me there. Also, it's not likely to come up, but Blasphemous Act could help in the actual matchup as a as a removal spell. That's why we play it over something like Searing Wind. Uh, yes, I can get it with Mystical Tutor, but also, occasionally, I can use it to wipe my opponent's board. Now, that was a bigger thing back when Monastery Mentor was a card, and it still works against Pyromancer. 
theoretically it could matter here, but realistically it doesn't. I'm never actually going to... Okay, there's a sapphire. Cool. I guess I need to tell my opponent no response. If the next card is Cavern followed by Lavinia, I'm in trouble. That's a Tundra, I believe. Okay, so we're holding up our Containment Priest, I guess. Uh, draw. Alright. Before I play this Ancestral, I believe that it's appropriate for me to play out the Blighted Agent. I'm assuming my opponent's not going to nix my Mox there. I'm assuming. And then I will say... Go. <clears throat> Alright, come on opponent. Let me have it. EOT. Swords. Once again, I think it's okay to let my opponent swords it. I have another in hand. Back to 20. Tie again, lol. <laughs> sure. Okay, now it does give my opponent some more time, but I have force, and I don't want my opponent to know it. Uh, a downside to doing it that way, though, is if I since I didn't use the force pitch blighted agent, if I want to use force here, I have to do ancestral or lose my creature. Speaking of, ooh, thinking, I kind of want to see what my opponent names here. It might be okay for me to force pitch blighted agent. I have ancestral. I'm about to get three cards deeper. That's a lot, and even if I just find black mana and not a creature, I still have a vampiric tutor. Vampiric. 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 Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think that it's alright here. I think I would like to force that. I believe it's correct to force here. If my opponent names one... Alright, back... Back down. See what my opponent has. Force pitch force. Alright, resolves. No response. What's your naming? I may have put myself in a bad spot there. Twelve. Name twelve. I dare you. You name two. That does not work the way my opponent thinks it works. <laughs> Alright, and by the way, this only hits non-creature spells, so it won't hit future blighted agents. No! That's right! Echoing Truth off the top! Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It does cut off my Echoing Truth. I don't think that's what my opponent was thinking was going to happen. I think they might have missed that. What? What just happened? Show, and te show that tell. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I see. One, two... Three. Okay. Well, this is this is force fodder now. For some reason, I have a childish Gambino bonfire, but it's like the the Ann Knuckles remix stuck in my head. If that sounds ridiculous, that's because it is. Dear God, it is. Let's see how many sync. I think it's two. Yeah, two sanctum prelates. And any more in the side? Two more. Okay, my opponent does not realize that does not stop Blazing Shoal. I believe. Unless they've got some weird hard read. But if, if they thought it worked that way, why didn't they name three? Because he followed up show and tell. Show that, excuse me, show that tell. Alright, and then we will pass the turn. And then we'll go end of turn... Uh, vamp tutor, get out, show and tell, or tinker. I have I have a mox, so unless I have Thalia to worry about, we'll just tinker, I guess. Tinker blight steel. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I have to tinker. Uh-uh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> okay, there we go. That was weird. What are you, a 2-1? A 2-2. Two, two. Pass back to me. S'il vous plaît. UT. 1, go to 15. Does not change the clock yet. I haven't seen a waste. Not that I have a choice here, I have to get underground, see? Or my opponent could really have just been slow rolling me with that. If you're wondering why I put lands in front, the story behind that is the first time I played it, I noticed if I had nothing on the board and I double clicked a card, it put it on the front. Because I play lands before other before non-lands, it put it out front. And I kept doing that for a while and I just decided, forget it. I'm I'm never gonna Here we go. Vampiric Tutor. Uh, end of turn Vampiric Tutor, because you have to. See if we're good, see if we get a response. Uh, one good thing about doing this is that my opponent, since they don't know that Sanctum Prelate on 2 doesn't stop Blazing Shoal, um, is, this, is this good? Uh, is that my opponent will not change their game plan in the future in response to that. Alright, so cool, we're going to look through the deck, and I know you put it in the graveyard after it resolves, but whatever. Uh, Tinker. Now, what you're supposed to do here is you put it on top of your deck. Let's see if it gives me that option. Okay, it does. Thank goodness. Alright. That should have moved it. <laughs> for me. If I did that correctly, and what are the odds of that? Draw? Alright, it worked. Additional cost, I have to sack it. What do you say? How's that? Now, of course, of course, watch my opponent have a sword supply shares. But they've burnt one. It's two swords in the main. How many in the side? One more. Okay. No response. Cool. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to find a card. I am blind. There you are. It's off of... It's alphabetical. Okay. Da da da! <laughs> In before swords to plowshares. Rip me. Alright. And then we'll pass the turn. Now I say that, I have a mental misstep. I just. I just. I want to. I want to so badly. Mm. Just do it! <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's Kite Sail. Injures the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non creature, non land, exile that card until it leaves the battlefield. Oh, okay, cool. Um, reveal my hand. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. You can block with the prelate and keep the kite sail. If you take the mental misstep, that means I won't get mental misstep back, so it gives you an extra turn to draw swords to plowshares, because you'll be at 9, in fact, instead of 10. That makes sense. Basically, my opponent is banking on this next draw, giving them swords to plowshares, uh, or some bounce effect. 
Do they have Echoing Truth? They do not. Or Time Walk into Swords of Shares. Let's see. What do you say? What do you say? Yeah, say. It was the, the mobster from Looney Tunes that uh, was really, really short. Had the, you couldn't see his eyes because of his hat. Alright. Cool. And I guess we can unreveal, but I don't conceal each. Eh, it's, it's fine. It doesn't matter. What did I just sit on? Oh. Bills! <laughs> okay. Swinging two. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 bud. Block? Like, what is going on? Did I miss something? My opponent taps out for Kite Sail, Mother of Runes. Swings two. I'm I'm lost. I'm confused. What what is going on? I was wondering about that. Um Oh, they already Oh, I was going to let you take it back. Sorry. Didn't draw it anyways. Okay. Uh, game three. Y yeah, fair enough. Didn't matter. Fair enough. All right, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, at least we've got one more. At least we've got one more. And my opponent doesn't. I'm gonna tell my opponent afterwards. I I feel a little bit bad for not telling them. Sanctum Prelate Name Twelve is what my opponent wants to do. Or eleven. <laughs> Bless this act. When is it appropriate to name 12 off your Sanctum Prelight? Right now. Right now. Uh, yeah, same thing. So we're gonna... Oh god, my opponent's going on the play and they kept 7. That's not good. Woo! Mmm! No! Mull checking top. Just to see how it would have gone. All right, how would it have gone? Progenitus, okay, Gitaxian Probe, found a land. Okay, that was that was fine to drop. So we move these back. One, two, three. And then there's a function in here, mole minus one. We keep, keep scry. Okay, look at the top card. Hmm. It's the worst card that I could find in that situation. Um, that actually helped me, I should say. Um, because I now have Creature, Land, Blasphemous Act, potentially Blazing Shoal off this Vamp Tutor. I think I have to keep it. It's not going to do me a lot of good on the next turn, but that's okay. Go for it! <laughs> Music. <laughs> uh, Mom is good. Mom is a little bit awkward, but remember, I don't have things like Fatal Push or Source of Plowshares in my deck, so I can live with that. Um, yup. Yup. Cool. Draw that card, I know. Okay, so I'm at seven cards. Six, five, eight. Once again, I don't want to be inefficient, but now I don't have an alternative. I don't have Ponder or Preordain. So we're going to run this into a mental misstep, and then it's going to get forced.
It's it's rare you want to force you want to hold back your force. I can just get blown out by Lavinia here. I haven't seen one. I have a feeling Lavinia is coming. But even if Lavinia is coming, I have an echoing truth. No, I don't, because I'm about to force it. Thinking. Yay! I'm about to drop the force here. Okay. Whale. Yeah, I, I, I need to draw those cards. It's absolutely worth it. Force pitch echoing truth. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Okay. So, one, two, three. <gasps> if there's not a Lavinia, I am in great freaking shape. If there is a Lavinia, I'm in trouble. But we have ourselves a combo. Pnoy. Is that supposed to be pony and they just misspelled it? No, it, it's... You don't... Come on, you don't... It's gotta be Pinoy. Pinoy. Okay, that's a wasteland. Okay, so we go Ink Moth Nexus, Blighted Agent. Uh, Yeppers. Oh, and we swing one, I guess. Take one. Woo! Got there. Alright. Oh, gotta stretch my leg. Been doing the yoga pose whatever that is, for entirely too long. Okay, even better. Mox. Ink Moth. Blighted Agent. This gets sourced, right? Isn't that what happens? Swords. I am turning nouns into verbs. I've been told that's an American thing. Is it? Is or does everybody do that? Or did I miss a memo? All right. How's that? And I, I'm assuming my opponent sideboarded in the fourth force of will. I would think. So it makes it all the more likely. Although only three cards in hand, and lots of white cards in the deck. Yeet. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's no way this works. <laughs> uh, unless my opponent just absolutely has nothing. They may have Lavinia and they're missing a blue source, maybe? Okay, they can... Okay, they're not pondering Wasteland. I wouldn't think you would there, because you could just do it on your turn. Um, Thalia doesn't get them out of this. Thalia actually kind of seals the deal. Ooh, okay, that's good. Thalia seals the deal for me, actually, because if they hadn't, um... Oh, oh, sorry. Yup. <laughs> if they hadn't played a Mox there, Thalia would say, I can't force you back. Uh, so that's, that's a concern. Alright, so clearly, clearly no mana in that three-card hand. Probably, unless they are the most patient person ever. Uh, no force blue card. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, we found our we found our mana. Well, here comes Lavinia. Or not. Kite sail. Nope, that's a tundra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Three. Prelate. Yep. Please name two. Please name two. Please, for the love of God, name two. Please. I dare you. I dare you, mother... <laughs> What's this? I... Pulp Fiction? Okay. Two. Oh, we got there. We got there. We got there. We got there. It's game. It's game. It's so game. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm about to make a real feel bad moment. I'll give my opponent take backsies if it's something they didn't mean to, they just forgot to do, or in the in the case of the Blightsteel there, my opponent forgot Blightsteel's actually on the field. It, it, it happens. When it's a lack of game knowledge, 
I'm gonna be a little bit of a jerk. I, I know that's what most people do. It, maybe it's not a jerk thing to do, but I am... <sighs> oh, crap, yeah. Uh, my opponent will never forget this. My opponent will never forget what's about to happen to them. I'm getting this on camera. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel giddy. This is this is mean, and uh, and I'm sorry. I'm a mean person, but <laughs> I'm I'm not actually being mean. I'm just. This is what the deck's supposed to do. And to be fair, to be fair. If they had done the, if they had been thinking of Blazing Shoal and they named 12 with Sanctum Prelate, that's Blazing Shoal plus Progenitus, um, then that still wouldn't actually work. You name 12 because it's more likely I'll have Progenitus than, Bla uh, than Blasphemous Act, four of versus one of. So I still probably get this anyway. Um, combat? Cool. be four damage, four damage, CMC equals 11, not before it's on the stack, I, no I don't think so, let me, let me check just to make sure. I, I don't think that's how that works. Alright, so... Blazing Shoal. Looking it up. I should look it up on, on uh, Chrome so that you all can see what I'm going through. Blazing Shoal. If I just hit enter, that should get the actual card as the first... Yeah, there we go. And we'll look at the rulings. Let me, uh, Pinoy, Pinoy has stopped spectating. Oh, they already beat me to it. Yeah, so as part of the cost of casting the spell, it's not technically on the stack until it's cast. Yeah, it's not on the stack until it's cast, and pitching is part of the casting cost. That's the TLDR of it. Um, let me see if I can find a, a better explanation here. Blazing Shoal CMC board games. That's a that's a real. Where's an act? Oh wait, wait. Judge blog. Judge blog. MTG Salvation. Where's Judge Blog? I, I, I think this works the way I think it works, but, uh... Sure, maybe there'll be a link in here somewhere. You know, this was a deck in Modern for a while. I'm sure this came up. I don't know how this could not have came up. Manoplasm. Oh. Means I'm paying blah 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 blah. Maybe I can't read blah 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 blah. Says the divine value blah blah blah. When mana okay, manoplasm says. Manoplasm says. Manoplasm says. All right. Spell CMC. Where's an actual judge? Rules are rules. Guru, what does that Karsten? Is that Frank Karsten? All right, two plus x, x is ten. Da, da, da. Okay, so I haven't found an actual judge, but as best I can tell. Oh no! I just left. Oh, I just I waited too long. Oh, I'm sorry, Jank. I'm sorry. Well, uh, Jank Hub, just to give you a you know. There's another thing I could have done. 
if I had thought about it. And it, it looks like it doesn't matter, my opponent conceded, but we have a Discord, and uh, there's usually a judge in the Discord. Um, so... Hmm... I, I do feel kind of bad about that, but as yes, it's my understanding that it's CMC. So you look and see the X in the mana cost here. The, I know this is complicated. You see the X in the mana cost. Um, you may remove a red card with converted mana cost X in your hand rather than pay Blazing Shoals mana cost. I remove Blasphemous Act. It's a red card CMC 9. So when you look at Blazing Shoal, red, red, X. X is 9. Um, and it, it doesn't go on the stack until it's all the prerequisites for it being cast have been done. One of those is paying for it, electing to pay for it in whatever way. And the way you pay for it in this case is... You don't. <laughs> you pitch a card instead. Uh, that makes it CMC 11. Um, and again, in my defense, even if my opponent had known that, they wouldn't have been able to... They probably would have predicted 12 instead of 11. Um, Alright, so that's... Now I... All that laughing I was doing earlier, I wasn't expecting that response. Um, I don't blame you, bud. I don't blame you. Well, on that note, I will see you later. Take care, Magic Community, and... Uh, Please don't be mad at me if I got that wrong. I think I got that right. I'm, I'm pretty sure I remember having gone through that before. But whenever I get in a situation like this where I think I know the rule, but maybe my opponent feels bad, it makes me doubt myself. So 